Leading health groups are calling on the federal government to consider a tax on junk food and sugary drinks. New research has found nearly 80% of those surveyed believe that children are getting fatter and half would support taxing unhealthy food. The Consumers Health Forum, the Heart Foundation, the Obesity Policy Coalition and the Public Health Association of Australia want decisive action now to end the widespread marketing of junk food and drink. Jane Martin is from the Obesity Policy Coalition. Jane, great to see you. And the, the, these statistics, and we'll run through them, are quite strong in terms of the fact that people really do want some action on this front now. Yeah, certainly it appears Australians are very much on board now and, you know, the government really should be acting because this is what the people, people want. They understand the problem and what needs to be done. Let's go through some of the statistics that your survey found and we just mentioned that 80% of Australians polled believed if we don't do more now to, to, to lower the intake of fatty sugar, that it's really going to be a very big problem in terms of the longevity of children's lives. Well, that's true, and we know that that is a fact. Children today will live shorter lives than their parents. So, you know, we might be living longer, but that's, that's over now. So our children will live shorter lives, and they'll live more with a disability. So we've got 62% of adults overweight or obese and 25% of children, and that heralds serious health problems to come. 50% approve of the government putting a tax on junk food and sugary drinks. Uh, that statistic doesn't seem to me to be high enough for, uh, for, to lead change or create change from the public? Uh, if you ask people about specifically taxing sugary drinks and subsidising healthy food, it goes up to about 67%. So I think we need to look to price signals because processed food is becoming much cheaper than healthy food and we know prices are really important. Um, um, consideration when people are buying food and, and people who have the lowest incomes have the worst diets. So I think we need to look at how we can make healthy food cheaper and unhealthy food more expensive. It's interesting because on a day when Joe Hockey says we'll be living to 150 or the children born today would be living to 150, that's uh, your survey is suggesting that 79% believe that's not going to be the case. Now, I mean, I guess that's an opinion. Are there hard facts for the fact? Yes. this will happen. Yeah, absolutely. So that's based on evidence coming out of WA that's analysed the data and it's come out with that. And we know now the leading risk factor for the health of Australians is diet, followed by body mass index, followed by tobacco smoking. So really we know what the key health issues are uh, for Australians and, and that's why we're calling for action by government. Jane, it's been a while since I've heard a, a proper debate around the advertising, particularly on uh, in uh, sporting contests. Yes. It seems to have gone away. Um, I guess you would like to restart that, but uh, I would suggest that sporting organisations and their, uh, their advertising partners are getting smarter and smarter at pitching, um, particularly with cricket, and I won't mention any brand names, but uh, it's been massive this summer. Yeah, I think it's gone to a whole new level this summer. Um, and don't forget that this is not just happening in these major televised sporting events. There's a lot of sponsorship of kids sport yeah. by these big brands. And we'd really like to see a start around that kind of marketing because it's very insidious. Children don't understand to associate health with highly processed foods and sport. It's not a good mm -hmm. connection. It creates a lot of confusion for children. We need consistency. You, you'll probably almost faint when you see those kids with buckets on their heads watching the uh, elite sport. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of them. I'd prefer a much sort of healthier uh, promotion. I used to think I ate quite healthily until I was forced to quit sugar and now I'm, I look at everything and I am absolutely horrified by how much sugar is added into our food. We don't have very strong warnings. That takes me a lot of laborious work yes. to constantly try and check where the sugar is. Surely we need a very simple and effective system in place that tells people what they're eating. Exactly, and we have that system. We have the Health Star rating system, and we asked people what they felt about making this mandatory, and there was very high support. And people are confused. It is confusing. I'm confused. Yeah. You can't blame people for that, but we need to give them the tools and empower them to make healthier choices. If this star rating system was mandatory on all foods, you could compare at a glance. And it does take into account the sugar, salt, the unhealthy nutrients in the food, as well as the positive elements, so the vegetables, nuts, uh, fibre, that kind of thing. It's a very good system. It's been developed with industry, but it's not mandatory and we really like to see that on all food. What do you, what do you want to see happen first? I mean, uh, the, the proposition that we need to make healthier foods cheaper 
it just doesn't seem like that's moving in any way towards that direction. What do you want to see first and foremost? Look, I think first we'd like to see the stars rolled out consistently, consist consistently and across the board on all foods. Secondly, I think we really need to look at junk food marketing to kids. We need to protect them. We need to let them grow up healthy, create healthy habits early. Um, and I think that's really important. And the World Health Organization again today has called for that action to be taken by government. So that I think the Australian government really needs to protect kids and help and support parents um, to make healthy decisions. Yeah, because I think there's a lot of confusion about what's healthy and what's not, and you just can't see it simply. Great to see you. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. Thanks very much.